Hello and welcome to Ozpol Explained, where we dive into everything to do with the Australian political system. As always, I'm your curly auburn haired host, David, and today's topic is joining a political party. Why do it? Why does it matter? How do you even join a political party? And what does it involve once you're actually there? Political parties are way more than the politicians that you see in Parliament. There's actually hundreds of people coming together to support an idea or cause. So even if you never want to become a political candidate yourself, it is still something that I encourage you to look into. Maybe there is a political party that aligns with your values that you could be a member of. What that party is, well, that's entirely up to you. In this episode, I'm not going to promote any specific party, just the idea of being involved. And to help us understand what that involvement is like and what it means, well, I've decided to reach out to multiple people across the political spectrum to ask them, hey, why join a political party and what does that mean? So joining me via Zoom, I have three guests, which will now introduce themselves and give a brief physical description for accessibility purposes. My name's David Limbrick. I'm a member of parliament in the Victorian upper house. Um, I'm part of a party called the Liberal Democrats. I have gray hair and glasses. My name's Tay. I am uh, medium height, brown haired, blue eyed and uh, normal build. So I am the outgoing WA Young Nationals president. So my name is Jordan Steele John. Uh, I'm one of the two Greens senators uh, for Western Australia and I am wearing glasses, uh, have a brown beard um, and I'm wearing a blue patterned shirt. What does joining a party involve? You know, what does joining a party mean? Take a step back, like what is a political party, right? Um, a party is a group of people who have some common idea and they want to try and uh, promote that idea and get people elected that represent that idea. And when you join a party, what you're really doing is saying, I want to be a part of that. Membership is about being involved in a, a broader community across the state, about making sure that your views are heard and discuss ideas for the benefit of our communities and things that we're passionate about. The mechanics of uh, joining a party usually follows uh, the process of basically uh, you reaching out to the organisation, expressing the, your desire to be a member and sometimes paying a membership fee like any other organisation. Um, the party structure will then reach out to you um, and ask you bit more information, invite you to a first meeting to give a bit more of a, an explanation as to why you want to be a member. You'll then be approved um, and granted all the rights of a member. Why join a party? What benefits slash voice does it provide to a member? Joining a political party is one of the most effective ways to be involved in political discussion and, and democratic participation outside of voting. If you become a financial member in most parties, you have some sort of voting rights as well. So you can help shape the future and the direction of the party. Being a member allows you to uh, have a voice and a say on really important questions. From policy to positions on contentious issues to actually running the organisation. Every demographic and every kind of cohort that you could think of gets the chance to speak up and to pres put forward a point of view. Who are your candidates um, at, the at the next election? Often members get to vote and select on questions like that. So it gives you a lot of power to be involved directly in the democratic process. You know, individuals can change things in the world, right? The individuals can do things themselves and, and that's great. But what a party provides is a way for people who have a common idea, which is the whole point of a political party, to join forces together to some common goal that they believe in. So for someone who cares about a particular issue or cares about, you know, the way the world is heading, they can join that party and become part of that movement. So the Nationals meet quarterly for our state council, and then we also have a yearly state conference. And ideas that get put forward at that annual state conference may be taken to federal conference. Um, and so a decision that you might make at a local level can actually have a big impact in the federal sphere. It, there's a big opportunity within all organisations to actually make that change that 
we often think can only happen through legislation and politics um, that you see on TV. You form, you know, new social networks and friends as well, which, you know, I've found, I've made a lot of friends through through my party and, and met a lot of people. And there's a lot of social functions and things like this as well. Why is party membership important for the party itself? You know, why does the party need members? It's really important that you've got a diversity of views around the table. And I think parties get put in boxes so often. So you, people might know left politics or right politics. But the reality is, is that there's always a mix of views. And it, it's important that there's a lot of views around the table because everyone's involved in the outcomes of decisions. To be a political party, you have to have a certain number of members. To initially get registered, you need in Victoria uh, 500 members and they need to um, prove to the Victorian Electoral Commission that they're real people and not fake. Um, and so you need to gather those people. So that helps the party in the first place get registered over the line. It enables you to be uh, a party that is on the ballot on election day. So if you're not a political party, you can't be uh, actually on your voting slip um, on election day. So that's one of the key benefits. It enables your party to be a thing. But then further on, you need people to become candidates. You need people to help campaign. You need people to help with administrative functions. And for most parties, especially smaller parties, most of these functions are volunteer bases. So um, most parties are um, primarily a volunteer organisation and uh, we couldn't function without those people willing to uh, devote their, their time and money as well. Like, you know, memberships, uh, if someone's a financial member, then that provides a consistent revenue stream for the party. How involved does someone need to be when they join a political party? Your level of involvement of, in, a, in a political party can be decided um, by you. If you want to, you can go to every meeting, you can comment on every strategy, you can input uh, to every policy, um, and you can attend every member's event. Um, or if, uh, if you feel like it, you can be a member um, and not do any of those things or, or mix it up, do more at some times and, and less at others. So it's really up to you. I mean, they don't have to be involved at all. They can just sign up. You don't like, you know, for a party that has like a free membership, you don't even have to pay any money. That would be the lowest level of engagement that you could have where you're just getting news about what's going on. And, and you know, that's fine. If And lots of people do that and that's fine. Your level of engagement can go right from, you know, just signing up on the website right through to becoming a candidate or an executive in the party that will help, you know, change the future of the party and, and, you know, and of the country and state. It's up to you as to how involved you want to be. So if you want to be involved in a leadership program, then there's opportunities to pursue that. If you want to pursue a certain idea and make sure that it becomes an election commitment, then you also have that opportunity to really follow that up and to make sure that as many people as possible can understand your viewpoint. So it's really up to individuals to um, pursue what they want and to get what they want out of your party. What advice do you have to someone considering joining a political party, but aren't sure if they should? If someone's considering joining a party, they should firstly try and think about, you know, what are the values that are important to them and what parties sort of represent those values and fight for those values, right? You know, you can usually go along as a, as a guest to a branch meeting or something like this. Most parties allow that. You can go along and meet the people and, you know, see whether they're the type of people that, you know, you want to be associated with. I would uh, suggest that your first good step uh, is to volunteer uh, with that party. You can do um, a lot um, to support and to, to support a party or to learn a bit more about uh, what it's like to be a member by simply volunteering, um, by, you know, turning up to uh, supporters events, by uh, volunteering at local stalls, by so, uh, some political parties allow you to observe their meetings or certain sections of meetings without being a member. So um, volunteering is a great way to get an idea of, of whether... The party is the one that you want to be a member of and if uh, membership is something that'll work for you. So I would strongly encourage everyone to look at websites because most political parties have their motions uh, from recent conferences on those websites. 
don't look at the media releases so much because those can be quite political. Also look at the costings and, and whether it's something that you're interested in because there's no harm in signing up and spending $10 or $30 and seeing what it's like um, and then trying something else. Party membership for most um, organisations is annual. I'm a big supporter of uh, people getting engaged in political parties. Um, there's the old saying that... Uh, if you don't uh, pay attention to politics, politics will certainly pay attention to you. We can get involved and have an effect on the world. And I'd encourage people that are passionate about some sort of cause to consider joining a political party. You know, the more people that are engaged, the better, I think. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, thanks for having me. No problem at all. Thanks. No worries. Thank you so much, David. And there you have it. Thank you so much to my guests. David Limbrick, John Still John, and Tay Ayler's for their time and answering my questions. I hope this has helped you understand what joining a political party means a lot better and maybe has encouraged you to consider joining one yourself. So look at the different political parties in your area and see what interests you. Does any align with your values? Would you like to support them in any way? Would you like to volunteer and get involved and hey, help the party that you support grow and do well at the next election. Just, you know, get out there and support democracy. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much to my supporters on Patreon who assist this channel. And hey, don't forget to share, subscribe, all those sorts of things. Comment down below what you would like to know next, and I will see you next time.